Hi, in this video we're looking at this question, which is what is a mole? Now, a mole in chemistry is just simply a quantity, and it's a pretty big quantity. It's six with uh, 23 zeros after it. Um, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, check this out. Uh, this says there are more molecules of water in a glass then there are glassfuls of water in all of Earth's oceans. Now, if you just think about that for a second, that's a little crazy, uh, but it is true. What this means is that water molecules are so small that in a glassful of water, there are way beyond trillions of water molecules. So what's a mole? Well, it's gonna help us measure something that is so large in quantity because the particles themselves are so small in size. And so a mole is just simply 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd things. And in chemistry, we're usually using this number to measure particles, things like atoms, ions, molecules, that kind of thing. It's used in chemistry to represent a large number of very small particles. Now, it's oftentimes so big that students have trouble kind of wrapping their heads around how big uh, this number actually is. And so here's a way to think about it a little easily. One dozen, we all probably know, is equal to 12 things. And that could be a dozen donuts, a dozen golf balls, it doesn't matter what the thing is. One dozen means 12. Well, a mole is very similar. One mole of something is just simply 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of that thing. And as I mentioned in chemistry, we're usually referring to particles when we're using this number because particles are so small, there's so many of them in a sample that we have to use a big number or at least a unit that represents a big number to represent how many particles we're talking about. Now, this number goes by a different name as well. It's not just called a mole, it's also called Avogadro's number based on the scientist uh, Amadeo Avogadro who did work on this. And this also sometimes is abbreviated or denoted by a capital N with a subscript capital A. The N means number, and the A, of course, means Avogadro. So sometimes you'll see that, and it's just referring to this 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number, also known as Avogadro's number, also known as the mole. So lots of different names for this one thing. So what do I mean by particles? Well, particles could refer to lots of things. Uh, one of the things that the term particles refers to is atoms. Uh, atoms are just the simplest building block. If you have a bunch of copper atoms or sodium atoms, uh, those are just individual atoms uh, on their own. So those are types of particles. Or it could be ions. If I had sodium ions or copper ions or chloride ions, uh, I could be talking about that. Uh, formula units is something that's a little tricky. This is something you probably haven't heard prior to this moment now. A formula unit is for an ionic substance. That's a substance that's held together by ionic bonds. So that means metals and nonmetals together. Um, and if you remember from the types of bonds, these things exist as crystal lattices, repeating 3D structures of pluses and minuses and pluses and minuses. And so a formula unit is just simply the smallest proportion of that crystal lattice structure. Uh, if I say it differently, it's just simply whatever the formula for the ionic substance is, that formula represents one formula unit, which is why it's called a formula unit. Uh, and then finally, and this is pretty common, um, the last type of particle really could be molecules. Molecules are particles as well. And so sometimes, in fact, most times, we're counting particles. We're counting molecules of substances, which again, are particles. So you hear any of these five terms for this purpose in uh, our discussion of the mole, they all refer to essentially the same thing. It's just the smallest unit of the substance uh, to which we're referring. Um, so what does this mean? Um, it means that a mole of atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. A mole of ions is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd ions. The same is true for formula units. One mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. And for molecules, the big point is this, a mole of anything is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of those things. Um, so that's kind of the take home point. I think uh, for a lot of students, and actually myself included, the mole concept is a little weird at first. Um, part of this I think is because it's a weird name, but another part is because 
it's using scientific notation. That 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd that you see there. Students are just generally not comfortable with scientific notation, I've found. But the moment you realize that a mole is just simply a really large quantity, uh, the better off you're going to be when we move forward in chemistry.